Oh, that's good. Oh, that's so good. Mm. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle and I wanna help you make better coffee at home. So today to that, we're gonna talk about iced coffee, some alternatives to the cold brew. See, I'm not a huge fan of cold brew for many reasons, but one of them is that I find it just takes way too long to brew. So today I wanna to give some alternatives to that that you can brew at home with some easy recipes. It won't take you long, less than five minutes each, and I think are personally better than cold brew. So let's dive into this. And by the end of this video, I hope you will be able to make some amazing iced coffee beverages at home as well. Well. Now today's video is sponsored by Skillshare and I'm very thankful for that, but we're gonna talk about them a little later on in this video. Let's get to the recipes first. The first recipe is iced Americano, one of my favorite iced coffee beverages ever, but you do need a espresso machine to make this recipe. So if you don't have one, don't worry, the next recipe has got you covered. But for the iced Americano, what you're gonna need is 200 grams of filtered water. You wanna make sure you have good water here, good filtered water, because that'll drastically change the flavor in your cup. Then you wanna have about 50 grams of ice. Now, this is a variable that you can play with. If you want your iced Americano to be real cold, you can substitute water for ice and add more ice into your beverage. But what you wanna do is take that filtered water and brew your favorite espresso recipe directly into it. For me, that's a one to two recipe, so I use about 18 grams of coffee to 36 grams of espresso yield directly into the filtered water. Once that is brewed, I then take the ice add it to my Americano and give it a shake. That's all there is to it. It's a really great recipe. You can play with that variable of water to ice, but you ultimately want about 250 grams of water and ice to your espresso yield. Now recipe number two and another personal favorite of mine is the iced AeroPress. Now there are many variations of the iced AeroPress, but today I'm gonna give you my personal favorite recipe. I think the AeroPress is great. I've talked about it so many times in other videos that you can find right here. So to do this, you're gonna need 150 grams of ice. Use the best ice quality you can find. If you can use filtered water for your ice, please do. It'll make a better cup of coffee. You then wanna have 20 grams of medium fine ground coffee, and you're gonna to wanna to add that directly to your plunger. We're not gonna use the inverted method today. We're gonna to use the normal AeroPress method. So you're gonna put that plunger directly on top of that craft, filled with ice, filter already installed. You don't have to pre-wet it, but you can if you just so desire. Once you've added the 20 grams of coffee into the plunger, you're then gonna add 150 grams of boiling water, 210 degrees if you've got a thermostat built into your kettle. Once you've added that water, be sure to stir that coffee vigorously. You wanna make sure everything is very saturated and then add the plunger to create a vacuum so that water doesn't seep through the filter right away. You then wanna start a timer once that water is added to your coffee grounds and we're waiting three minutes before we start pressing. Then press nice and slow, push it through the hiss, don't worry about that. Once the coffee is then brewed, stir that carafe, mix up that coffee and that ice, and then enjoy. Okay, we've got two more iced coffee recipes that you do not wanna miss, but before we get to them real quick, I wanna talk about today's sponsor, which is Skillshare. You see, Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Now, you might say, Kyle, I'm not a creator. I don't make YouTube videos, but you know what? You create coffee, you create stuff in life. Whatever you put your hands to, you are creating, and that's why I think Skillshare could be amazing for you. Within Skillshare, you can explore new skills, deepen existing patterns, and just get lost in creativity. Now I've learned so much from the different classes on Skillshare from product photography or even finding my own style. But what I'm really loving right now is a class from MKBHD, Marcus Brown Lee, and it's YouTube success, script, shoot, and edit. Learning from the best is always the best way to learn. You see what I love about Skillshare, it's curated for learning. So there are no ads and they're constantly adding new content all the time, just new stuff to learn more. Now, if this interests you at all and you want to check out Skillshare, I have a unique URL down in the description below. The first 1,000 people to click that will get Skillshare for one month for free. Go learn. Go be a part of this amazing community. We'll see you over there. I, I, I want to learn with you. Thank you, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. The third iced coffee we need to talk about today is the iced Chemex. Now, the Chemex is normally not a brew method that I use very often, but when it comes to iced coffee, this is amazing and you need to try it. The iced Chemex creates a high clarity, 
very delicate cup of coffee that V60s and Kalitas and just other pour overs don't seem to achieve for me. The recipe that we're gonna use on the Chemex is a traditional Japanese iced coffee recipe. And what we're gonna do today is 40 grams of coffee to 550 grams of water. We're gonna split that water up between 40 to 60% ice to coffee water. And so we're gonna use about 250 grams of ice, which is a little bit over 40%, I know. And then we're gonna use 300 grams of water. The result is gonna be absolutely amazing. Brewing this is pretty standard. You're gonna to wanna to use as hot water as possible, just off boil. And then you're gonna to wanna to bloom this for at least 45 seconds. Don't rush that bloom. You wanna have the aid in that extraction. After that, you're gonna do one single pour to 300 grams of coffee, but I want you to go nice and slow. Don't rush this process. Take about two to three minutes to pour that coffee water. Once you're done, pour it into your favorite server. Amazing with sweetener, without sweetener. I drink it black, but if you want milk in this beverage, also a good option if you want a good iced coffee. Try it out, the Ice Chemex. Now the last recipe that we're gonna be talking about today is espresso tonic, or as I like to call it, spronic water. You need to try this recipe. It's very simple. Now all you're gonna need for this recipe is lime, espresso, tonic water, and of course ice, and sweetener is awesome optional if you so desire. Now for this recipe, you're gonna take 250 milliliters of tonic water and you're gonna pour that over about 50 grams of ice. You can be a little more liberal on the ice for this recipe, but it's truly not needed. But what I want you to do is be very liberal on the lime that you add to this recipe. You see the lime is really gonna separate this apart from many other tonic recipes that you might've tried before. Go liberal, I use about a half of a lime extract. Once you've done that, then I want you to brew your espresso. Not into the cup like the iced Americano, you wanna brew this into a separate cup. You're gonna do the same recipe you did with the iced Americano, your favorite espresso recipe, however you wanna brew it, but again, I brew a one to two ratio of espresso. And once that is done, you need to pour that espresso slowly. <laughs> do not pour this fast, I promise you, you will regret it. If you've ever made a mess with espresso tonic before, let me know in the comments down below. Pour this nice and slowly over your tonic water with lime and take your time. Again, this is an absolutely beautiful drink, and if you have friends around, be sure to show them while you're pouring the espresso into their tonic water. It is definitely not something you wanna miss. Now, before you go, what iced coffee recipe would you like to see in this list? Is there one that I'm missing that you swear by that you wouldn't live without? Please let me know down in the comments below and maybe I'll make a video again in the future of more recipes. Now, before you go as well, if you like this video at all, please hit that like button down below. It truly does make a huge difference, especially for a smaller YouTube like me. I would really appreciate it. And if you enjoy this video, you want more videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below. Also, if you're interested in supporting this channel and winning free gear that I review, Review, my Patreon is down below that you can check out as well. All right, we'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Go brew some iced coffee. We'll see you guys all in the next video.